welcome to uh, day six of Vlogmas. My name is Anakin and I live in the southwest of England. Um, I'm going to show you my advent in a minute but before that if you uh, like this video please give it a thumbs up, please leave me a comment and please subscribe if you haven't already. If you're a new viewer welcome and if you're a returning viewer I'm glad to have you back. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to show you my advent and also an update on what I was knitting yesterday afternoon and evening. Um, and what my plans are for today. So today's yarn is this pretty colour. So it's pink going from quite pale pink through to brighter pink and a little bit of red. So I really like that colour. Pink is my thing, so I'm really happy with that. Um, I've made a little bit of progress. I can't remember. Did I do this before I filmed yesterday or afterwards? I can't remember, but I have added in Saturday's colour, I think it is. Um, I stopped at the beginning of a row, so that's a bit awkward. <laughs> but I've done another cross stitch row, this stitch pattern here. Um, I when I joined in this colour I used the um, clasped weft join uh, which I linked in the previous um, episode uh, but if you search Louise Tilbrook clasped weft join on YouTube you'll find it um, but I joined that in here for the beginning of the row so I think that looks really good so this hang on that is the tail and Where's the other tail? That is the other tail. So when I finish, I will actually just trim those tails. I'll do it after I've blocked it. So I'm not sure what to do after this colour. Um, let's have a look at the other yarns. I think I will probably join in that one. And then maybe that one. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, I'm probably not going to have time to do that today because I've got going to be out most of the afternoon. I've got a haircut booked. And highlights which takes a while so um, I probably won't be doing much on that today I'll show you what else I was knitting yesterday so let me just grab my knitting I left it on the floor so I did make some progress on my hat so on yesterday morning I shared that on Saturday evening I did quite a lot of knitting on this new hat and then I ripped it all out and cast that on again so this is my second attempt um, I've got back to where I ripped back. So this is how much I knitted on Saturday night before I ripped it back. So I got back to where I ripped it out. So I think this is probably about 30 rows or so, maybe a bit more. Um, and I was still a little bit worried that I might have too many stitches. So what I decided to do is go down a needle size. So I was using 3.75 millimeter needles. So I went down to 3.5 millimeter needles, probably about halfway up here. So first 10 rows or so is a different needle size I don't really care I don't think it's going to show that much it's a quarter of a millimeter difference in the needle size I don't think it's going to show that much but it will make the fabric just a tiny bit tighter so I think it's okay now um, I don't want to try it on because I don't want it to fall off my needles uh, it's not quite big enough to be able to try it on so that's how we look so far so I'm really enjoying it. Um, one thing I'm not enjoying, and that's my big problem with um, mohair yarns uh, full stop, is the fact that when I nip with it, I just end up covered in pink fluff. Um, I was wearing a black top yesterday with like um, gold, um, pink gold sparkles. Um, and when I looked down on my sweater yesterday evening, it was just covered in pink fluff. And today I'm wearing another black top um, and that's my problem with uh, knitting with mohair yarn. I wear a lot of black and everything sticks to it so I don't know. I was thinking I got haircut later on highlights and when I have my highlights while they're working I tend to take my knitting with me and do some knitting and I've got my sock project that I cast on on Saturday in my bag so I thought I would take that. I was thinking maybe I'll take this uh, because obviously wearing the gown thing they put on you in the hairdressers, it's not going to get on my clothes. So maybe I'll take this. I'll see. I haven't quite decided yet. 
And then another thing I pulled out last night to work on is a project that I haven't worked on for a little bit. Um, and it's my Cyber Palin shawl. So let me just show you if I can. It's getting quite big now. So that's what it's looking like so far. So I'm going to just turn around and grab the skein from here. Okay, so I'm using that colorway and then I'm going to add in that colorway. So those are the two colorways I'm using. So at the moment I've used that one, that one, that one and that one. And at the moment I'm knitting with those two. So I've only got the blue left. Um, so yeah, quite like how it's looking. Um, I'm kind of deciding this as to go as I as I go. So I haven't really got a plan. I'm not quite sure how to transition to this yarn yet. We'll see. Um, might work on this a bit more this evening. Um, but I last night um I kind of got to a point where I was getting a bit bored with the hat, and I thought I haven't really touched this for several days. So I thought I would pull that out and knit a bit on that because I really wanted to try and finish up before Christmas, and I'm about halfway nearly halfway now so um and I got two weeks tomorrow till I leave for Norway so um I might still try and finish it for Christmas um I don't know I'm also behind on the oven shawl I don't know whether to really try and push that through and try and finish that before Christmas or what to do uh we'll see so I'm going to go and walk my dog now um I'm hoping it's not going to rain it looks like it's going to rain again and um then I will, then I'm off to the hairdressers and I may come back and film a bit more later. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely day.